Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spud Knocker, as always. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering why we're starting this video off with a pause simulation of a four ship of F-14 Tomcats with the MSI Afterburner overlay turned on. That's because today we've got a bit of a PSA or public service announcement talking about how to increase your performance in DCS World. Now by performance, as I'm sure you've guessed from the overlay, we're talking about FPS or frames per second being pushed from your PC onto your monitor or into your VR headset to allow you to have a fun and positive experience in DCS world. We all know that when performance falls below a certain threshold, it can be very difficult to control your aircraft, let alone fight your aircraft while flying through DCS. So the topic we're going to tackle today that affects your performance is going to be TACView, or more specifically the flight data recorder in TACView itself. Now this video is not an attack on TACView or its developers, and a ton of pilots in DCS World, especially the very experienced DCS World pilots and competitive pilots in situations like Satal, absolutely swear by TACView to enhance their skills in BFM, ACM, and BVR engagements against their friends in the AI, as well as to help sort out those very complex and confusing missions. Did I actually down that MiG or did my wingman? Did my bombs hit the target or did I whiff? But TACView unfortunately has a corresponding performance penalty on your system because of the fact that TACView in the creation of those .acmi files is recording the trajectory, arc, the hits, the misses, the flight data of everything in DCS world that's flying around. From bullets, to missiles, to aircraft, to ships, everything. And so when you're flying in a very complex mission on say a map that's a little bit resource hungry like say Syria or the Mariana Islands, it might be a good idea to turn your flight data recorder off to get that extra bit of performance to give you a very fun experience in those very complex multiplayer or campaign missions. In my testing here, I found that turning off the flight data recorder of TACView in a very complex scenario can increase your FPS by as much as 20 FPS, which is very, very significant, especially for those VR users. Now, my PC is not the absolute bleeding edge anymore thanks to the CPU and GPU shortage out there. And so I think that is very relevant and it really shows me how big of a difference that this can make. A lot of DCS World players, especially those that swear by TACView, tend to forget that you can actually turn the flight data recording off in the special options of DCS. And so I highly recommend next time, if you're having performance issues trying to fly through a campaign mission or inside of a multiplayer mission, potentially think about turning off the creation of those ACMI files. So today, let's go ahead and take a look at the F-10 map here and we've got a very, very complex setup today to actually fly through in our F-14 to show you guys the difference between having flight data recording turned on and flight data re recording turned off. We've got two flights of AI FA-18s and a flight of F-16s down here. We've got our F-14s down here and all of the blue flights are set to immortal. So that way we can fly across the gauntlet of AAA and Sam's arrayed around Damascus. Those of you who are eagle-eyed who watched my previous uh, Sunday mission video will see this is the exact same AI ground unit setup that we had in that previous Sunday mission. So it will be very representative of what you would see in, say, a Sunday mission if you decide to fly with us one day. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and hop into our F-14 and take a look at the current FPS, the minimum FPS, the average FPS, and the maximum FPS shown by MSI Afterburner with the TACView actually recording ACMI files as we fly through this very complex setup. So we'll go ahead and unpause and we will turn on our benchmarking data All right, we've got mud right in front of us, 12 and we can see our average FPS is hovering about just under 40 so about 38 FPS at the moment and of course as you fly through a mission you're going to be looking around 
And as you look around, of course, that increases your FPS if you're not looking directly forward in your cockpit the whole time. We can definitely see reductions in FPS in the different parts of the aircraft that we're looking at. Or whether we're looking at multiple aircraft models around us, if say we're on the deck of an aircraft carrier. And we can see that uh, an SA-5 is definitely shooting at us at this point. And the AAA batteries down there should also start to open up on us. Our average FPS is still hovering right about 39. Oh, there's some tracers from the S60 batteries that are down there. We've also got three flights of enemy interceptors coming out to hit our flight of F-16s, F-18s, and of course our F-14 flight as well. We currently have the mirrors off in the F-14 because the mirrors in the F-14 are such a massive performance penalty uh, to your FPS, and I wanted to eliminate that variable from our test here. Let's bring the jet a little bit back to the left. And we should have an SA-2 site down there. That will hopefully engage us as well as a good performance metric. More AAA shooting at us. There's some more tracers coming up. And you can see that there's definitely stuttering. As I move my head around the cockpit, and there's Burst from AAA down there. Whole bunch of AAA coming up at us. And we can see our average FPS is kind of hovering right about 38, with our current FPS going all the way from 22 all the way up to about 50 as we fly through this kind of gauntlet of air defenses. All right, so it looks like we're kind of out of the thick of it when it comes to all of these air defenses around Damascus. So why don't we go ahead and end the test, and we see we've got an average FPS of 38 with our minimum of 22 and our maximum of 51 FPS with TACView flight data recording turned on. So let's go ahead and hop out of this mission, turn the TACView flight data recording off, and see what we get for frames per second. Okay guys, here we are on the home screen of DCS World, and this setting to allow us to enable or disable flight data recording in TACView is very easy to access, allowing you to turn it on and off according to your needs on the fly, going from say a practice session flying against your friends over to a very extensive and very complex multiplayer mission. So all you gotta do is just come up here to the top left of the DCS home screen and click on the COG icon to access the main uh, options screen of DCS World. Go all the way to the right to the special options and then scroll all the way down through all the special options for your downloaded aircraft in DCS World and click on the TAC view special options setting. Then find the flight data recording panel right here and just uncheck the enabled box here. You know that flight data recording is disabled when the check mark goes away, and all of these settings down here are grayed out. At this point, TACView will not be actually creating those .acmi files anymore, and thus the performance penalty is now disabled, and you should get about a 10 FPS boost in single player and about a 20 FPS boost in multiplayer. Of course, your mileage may vary with those boosts in FPS based off of your hardware and the complexity of the scenario you're engaging in, but it will definitely help you out with getting a bit of a boost in performance. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Then we'll go back to the mission editor. File open. We'll go back to our same testing scenario. As you guys can see here, very, very complex scenario and TACV with the flight data recording turned on is recording the trajectories, the impacts, the flight path of every object in the mission, including all of these tankers over here, the five tankers, the AWACS, and the ships out here that are ready to go for players to fly on and off of in our mission here. As I said earlier in the video, this test is on the exact same mission that we flew on in our previous Sunday uh, co-op mission. 
So we'll go ahead and click flight to get back into our test flight of F-14 Tomcats. And we'll go ahead and turn MSI Afterburner back on. We will jump back into our test bird. And we'll click fly. We'll get the autopilot turned on for us and we will turn those mirrors off to control for as many variables as we possibly can. We're also going to reset the benchmarking of recording data on MSI Afterburner so that way we can get a good clean test here. So we'll go ahead and unpause, we'll reset that benchmarking, and we'll fly through it here, seeing what our increase in our FPS is going to be as we fly through this scenario. Again, as we look around, scanning for threats, looking for MIGs, SAM launches, things like that, that's going to change our FPS, especially in the F-14 Tomcat with a highly detailed cockpit. And we can see an SA-5 is currently shooting at us. We've got nails from MiG-29s, SA-2s, and other units around the map at this point. And we'll raise the nose slightly so that way we don't descend. And we'll start to get in range of various AAA batteries as well. But as you guys can see, our current FPS, which is the furthest left FPS uh, on the MSI Afterburner overlay is staying consistently about 10 FPS higher with TAC view data recording turned off. Now we're starting to get some tracers from AAA batteries firing up at us. So in DCS World single player, the change in the boost of your performance is gonna be a little bit lower than in multiplayer. In multiplayer, because TACView has to record data from clients, and that data has to then come through your network, that tends to be a bit more of a performance hit than when you're flying in single player, where all of that data is local to your PC, because it's of course just AI flying around you. But as you guys can see flying through this, our average FPS is about 10 FPS higher than when we had, whoa, well, there's some tracers coming up there. As we fly through things and more people start shooting at us, our FPS is definitely going to dip back down. But as you can see with the uh, flight data recording turned off, that FPS tends to come back up a lot faster than when it was turned on. Definitely not getting to the point where it's a slideshow in this test. And obviously with a very complex scenario like this, it's very difficult to get a perfect one-to-one -one comparison because DCS World does have an element of randomization in terms of like when SAMs will shoot at you, when AAA will shoot at you, and so on and so forth. But I think that this is a very good representative um, explanation and example of that performance boost. And now we've got an SA-6 shooting at us. We can see our maximum FPS is a lot higher and our minimum FPS is about 10 FPS higher than our minimum FPS in the previous test. Our average FPS is also a good 10 FPS higher than in our previous test as well. Just so to reiterate here, I am seeing a bit of a higher performance boost in multiplayer with flight data recording turned off than I am in single player. And, and like I said, based off of your hardware and your setup and the complexity of the scenario you're flying through, it may be different for you. And this is also based off of the fact that flight data recording, it's recording every single little thing happening inside of DCS World. Every single bullet fired, every single SAM launch, weapons drop, missile launch, everything. And so that is obviously going to be a performance penalty and turning that off is going to give you back some performance, whether it's a super simple mission or a super complex mission. And again, as I said earlier in this video in the intro, so many people use TacView and so many people have TacView downloaded. I think that people tend to forget about this setting and how this setting can affect your performance in DCS. So I hope this video was informative to you guys, and I hope you liked it, and I hope it maybe gave you some ideas of how you can approach and get some more performance out of those very complex missions. So, 
have a good rest of your day, guys, and uh, fly safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.